Starry Dome, a tutorial for circles E through H, which would be bars 16 through 32. Without any tempo, let's take a look at what notes we need. Remember your left hand is in treble clef above middle C for starting in bar number 16. So we have G and B flat for that third, and the right hand has F, G, D, and that all comes at the same time. That's the crotchet chord. Let's look now at the minimum chord. Right hand shifting up by one key, but remember A is flat and so is E flat. And your left hand A flat and C. Bar 17, we come back to the same crotchet chord that we had in bar 16. But now you have to shift your right hand down so that thumb is going to come down to C. I'd put two on F and four, it says on the B flat. At the same time, your left hand's going to step to F and A flat. Let's look at that again. For circle E, we have bar 16, crotchet chord, going to the minimum chord. And then in bar 17, the crotchet chord, and then the minimum chord. In bar 18, you need to move your left hand down so that 4 is on middle C, and your right hand's going to be B flat, E flat, and F, uh, and G. That's the crotchet chord. And your right thumb is going to move to the F, and we've got thumb on the A flat right hand. So let's look at that again. Bar 18, we have the crotchet chord to the minimum chord. And then in bar 19, we've got a dotted minimum chord where your left hand has a harmonic fifth, A flat and E flat, and your right hand has fingers one, two, three, B flat, C, E flat. Let's look at bars 18 and 19 again. Bar 18, crotchet chord. Bar 18, minimum chord. And bar 19, dotted minimum chord. Now in bar 20, we have three notes on the right hand that are flat. I would put two, three, and five. A flat, B flat, D flat. And your right hand is already in position to play B flat and F. That's the crotchet chord. Now notice the left hand switches to bass clef going down to F and C. Your right hand is already in place. You're one and four positioned ready to play G, A flat, C. That's bar 20. Let's look at that again. Bar 20 crotchet chord. My bad. D flat. And then the minimum chord. That's not right, sorry, A flat. Keep missing flats. Three flats in the right hand. We're gonna play G, A flat, C. That's bar 20. One more time. Crotchet chord, minimum chord. Now bar 21, the only note that's white is the F. Everybody's flat, left hand and right hand. Let's look at that. We're going to play G flat, D flat, F, G flat, and B flat. And it looks like it's going to be two, three, five in the right hand and one and three in the left. And then we're just going to shift from bottom to top D flat, A flat, E flat, F, A flat. So let's look at the crotchet chord. minimum chord in bar 21. Now bar 22, let's start circle F. We can do that. It's a minimum. Watch what happens. D flat, E flat, G flat on the right. Fingers 1 and 4. Remember, C flat is just like B, the enharmonic of it. G flat, B flat, C flat.
let's look at that again. The 2-4 bar to the 3-4 bar. Not to worry about all those quavers just yet. Let's go back to circle E and do that again. So we have G, B flat in the left, and we have F, G, D natural. So that's the crotchet chord going to the minimum chord. And then in bar 17, the crotchet chord going to the minimum chord. And then in bar 18, we've got the crotchet chord going to the minimum chord. In bar 19, the only chord that's there, dotted minimum. In bar 20, shift the hand down, so we have A flat, B flat, and D flat, crotchet chord, and then the minimum chord. In bar 21, we've got the crotchet chord, and then the minimum chord. And then in the 2-4 bar, in bar 22, we've got the minimum chord resolves to bar 23, the dotted minimum. Now let's look at those quavers. You'd hold your pedal down to play all of these. Your right hand is already there, and it looks like your right hand's going to cross one, stretch two, three, five. Now let's take a look at what happens in circle G. If you can play circle E, you should be able to play circle G, because all we're doing is breaking those notes apart. So we've got that third on the left, and you've got this two semi-quavers quaver. So it's going to go dig a dum, and then coming down, dig a dum, and those are tied. And then in bar 26 at the top of the next page, dig a dum, and coming down, dig a dum. And then in bar 27, dig a dum, and then dig a dum, and those are tied, and then in bar 28, dig a dum, and then in circle H, we have left hand B flat F, dig a dum, moving the left hand down to F and C, dig a dum, and then And then in bar 31, we have dig a dum, and those are tied. Oh, so pretty. Dig a dum, and those are tied. And then circle I is very much like what we did in circle A with the one and two and three, four. So let's take a look at circle G, the last bar at the bottom of the first page. So you've got the regular harmonic intervals on the left hand, but then they're like broken chords in the right hand. So we've got this rhythm, this, this beautiful semi-quaver, quaver rhythm. Dig a dum. Not to worry about beats or anything just yet. Just think about what notes and what fingers you're going to use. And then dig a dum. Don't remember your fingerings. You can write them in from the previous section. And then dig a dum. And then circle H. We've got
isn't much different from that point forward.